Beyond Engineering Limits, the extraordinary story of the $7.2 billion sea crossing bridge that captivated U.S. engineers. Despite perceptions of tension in the china east relationship, it's important to acknowledge a bygone era of harmony. Years ago, China played a crucial role in the construction of the Oakland Bay Bridge, a testament to their collaboration. This impressive $7.2 billion USD project boasts remarkable resilience designed to endure a formidable earthquake of 15 magnitudes. It stands as a remarkable symbol of past cooperation and presents an opportunity for renewed partnership between the two nations. The remarkable new Bay Bridge in the United States stands as a testament to Chinese engineering capabilities. Situated in the scenic San Francisco Bay Area on the country's west coast, it holds the distinction of being the first sea crossing bridge originating from China. A little-known fact is that this magnificent structure was manufactured entirely in China. This awe-inspiring bridge boasts the title of being the world's largest single-tower self-anchored seismic suspension steel bridge. Among its kind, it features the greatest technical complexity and the widest span. Stretching across the sea for 2.88 kilometers, it accommodates an impressive 12 lanes in both directions. Its robust design enables it to withstand earthquakes up to a magnitude of 8, ensuring the safety of commuters and travelers alike. The construction of this extraordinary sea crossing bridge came at a total cost of $7.2 billion USD. Serving as a vital link between San Francisco and Oakland, it is poised to connect communities and facilitate seamless transportation. With its exceptional seismic resilience, this bridge guarantees resilience against powerful earthquakes for an astonishing 1,500 years. The strength of a nation's infrastructure is undoubtedly a vital aspect of its progress and development. When comparing the infrastructure capabilities of the United States and China, it is evident that both countries possess commendable achievements. However, the focus should not be solely on a single bridge, but rather on the broader context of infrastructure development. Before we proceed further and analyze the modalities of Oakland Bay Bridge, make sure that you have hit the like and subscribe button so that you always remain updated about new video. Now let's continue. Let's delve into the remarkable example of the Oakland Bay Bridge, situated in San Francisco, USA. Constructed by the United States prior to World War II, this colossal project was completed in an astounding three years, showcasing the unrivaled infrastructure capabilities of the United States at that time. Officially opened to traffic in 1936, the Oakland Bay Bridge serves as a vital link connecting three prominent cities, San Francisco, Yerba Buena Island, and Oakland. The United States allocated a staggering $77 million for the construction of this bridge, rendering it not only the largest undertaking in the country, but also one of the most costly infrastructure projects worldwide. Furthermore, it stood as one of the largest bridges globally, captivating visitors from across the globe who marveled at its grandeur. Consequently, the bridge swiftly became a renowned tourist attraction, drawing people from far and wide to witness its magnificence. After its construction, the bridge proved to be an impressive feat, accommodating both cars and trains with ease, a rarity for such a dual-purpose structure. The designers and engineers behind this project deserve commendation for their remarkable achievement. Initial expectations were that the bridge would serve its purpose safely for a century. However, its journey turned out to be much more turbulent than anticipated. Tragically, numerous lives were lost on this bridge, and the maintenance costs alone were exorbitant. In 1968, an unfortunate incident occurred when a Navy trainee plane, due to improper operation, crashed directly into the Oakland Bay Bridge. The collision claimed the lives of two Navy members aboard the plane and inflicted significant damage upon the bridge. After diligent repairs, the bridge reopened, only to encounter further unexpected challenges. Another accident struck the bridge as a section of its structure collapsed, smashing three passing cars. Thankfully, there were no reported injuries. Following this incident, the bridge required additional repairs, causing a month-long delay in its official reopening. Despite the extensive efforts to reinforce and repair the Oakland Bay Bridge, lingering vulnerabilities persisted. As the bridge serves as a vital link connecting three cities, it endures an immense daily traffic flow of approximately 270,000 vehicles on its double-deck deck. Consequently, it shoulders an immense weight burden. Years of continuous use took their toll, leading to the visible discovery of a crack on one of the bridge's supports. 
the bridge's contractor, recognizing the need for both repairs and pavement replacement, embarked on yet another extensive overhaul. Alas, even after the thorough review and approval of the EFTA report, the bridge experienced another catastrophic failure, subsequently setting the stage for further unfortunate incidents. In 1989, a devastating accident struck once again. A powerful 6.9 magnitude earthquake rocked the region, causing severe damage to the bridge. The force of the quake led to the collapse of the road surface and tragically claimed one life. This calamity left the Bay Bridge in ruins, rendering it impassable and bringing local traffic to a standstill. Local authorities were faced with an urgent need for swift reinforcement and repairs to restore vital bridge traffic. However, past experiences with contractors had left them disillusioned and dissatisfied with the quality of the repair work. Determined not to repeat the same mistakes, they sought a different approach. This time, they took the bold step of reaching out to three nations renowned for their engineering capabilities, Japan, Germany, and Russia. These countries closely monitored the bridge's dire condition and recognized the complexity of the repair task at hand. It was the Russian experts who recommended the Chinese engineering team to the United States, believing in their ability to tackle this formidable challenge. Thus, the Chinese engineering team assumed responsibility for the project, going above and beyond to deliver remarkable results. With ingenuity and resourcefulness, they independently manufactured massive four-ton steel parts, which were then shipped to the United States. A meticulous inspection ensued, with each bridge section meticulously examined and repaired using the Chinese team's innovative components. Astonishingly, the cost of these parts proved to be more economical compared to those supplied by the previous contractor. In fact, the overall repair cost yielded significant savings of $300 million for the United States. Thanks to the unwavering dedication and expertise of the Chinese engineering team, the seemingly insurmountable task of restoring the bridge was accomplished within a remarkably short span of time. More than three decades have elapsed, and the bridge continues to stand as a testament to its unwavering safety record. During the meticulous restoration process, the United States bore witness to the resolute dedication and sagacity of the Chinese engineering team, affirming China's capabilities in infrastructure development. When the time came to construct a new sea-crossing bridge, the American authorities couldn't overlook the Chinese engineering team's track record. Although esteemed participants from Japan, Germany, and the United Kingdom vied for the project, China emerged victorious with the lowest bid of $7.2 billion USD. With a total length of 2.88 kilometers, the construction of this remarkable bridge was concluded in a mere five years. Impressively, this bridge features 12 two-way lanes and accommodates a staggering daily traffic volume of 300,000 vehicles, surpassing even the Auckland Bay Bridge. The bridge boasts a grand illumination scheme, comprising 25,000 lights capable of transforming into an array of captivating graphics. Engineered with a robust 45,000-ton steel structure, it stands as the largest single tower, self-anchored seismic suspension steel bridge designed to withstand seismic activity. Notably, China's advantageous labor and cost-efficient materials resulted in a cost saving of $400 million for the United States. Furthermore, the bridge remains resilient and free from major accidents, instilling confidence that it will endure for a century if diligently maintained. However, even the most exceptional bridges necessitate meticulous upkeep, as exemplified by China's comprehensive bridge maintenance approach, encompassing inspection, testing, evaluation, maintenance, and reinforcement. Newly constructed bridges in China undergo annual inspections, with bridge maintenance being the responsibility of the State Department. Contrary to this, the maintenance practices in the United States differ. In recent years, the state of the U.S. infrastructure has reached a critical juncture. Alarmingly, one out of every five bridges in the United States is in dire need of extensive repairs or complete reconstruction. Shockingly, this infrastructure crisis is set to worsen as we approach 2025, with the projected funding gap exceeding a staggering $2 trillion USD. In the end, the lack of private investment in infrastructure construction hinders the maintenance and reconstruction of highway bridges. The significant investment required and the delayed returns discourage private enterprises from participating. How can we attract private investors and bridge the gap to ensure timely bridge maintenance? 
Let's envision innovative strategies for collaborative partnerships and financing models to build a stronger infrastructure network. Also stay connected with us for more informative content.